today i'm going to start the esp32 uh, let's uh, see i am going to install the board manager from this random tutorial website they have some good information about the esp32 board so use this board so like this okay so okay dual core okay that's good and it also have bluetooth low energy um, and 512 kb of ram all these things make this powerful uh, also unlike the node mcu uh, the esp8266 uh, this esp32 version also have uh, adc and dac channel so it uh, have a capability it also this board comes with cp2102 um, serial to usb converter so we have to install the board drivers and there is a pin configuration of these uh, this board so we have uh, like adc channels so these are the adc channel 01 and uh, for the project which i'm currently trying to accomplish with esp32 is to uh, is belong where i need to sample the adc channel some analog signal i need to sample it so uh, the ide i'm going uh, to use is arduino 1.8 and uh, okay so we need to go to preferences as mentioned here then we need to put this uh, uh, json file link why they have two okay because they are also using esp uh, a266 but we need only this so let's copy this and go to our okay let's close this file for now um, go to the preferences inside the preferences i already have bunch of json files and i'll put esp32 here and uh, wait a second let me check if i already have uh, this one already maybe i put the esp32 package but forgot to install no i haven't so okay now we have the esp32 cool uh, let's okay go to the board manager and then we need to uh, search for once we done that we need to search for esp32 and from the espressif systems we need to install uh, the port uh, once we done we will see uh, esp32 arduino like this in our board managers and we are good to select and start so let's see what we have so far uh, esp32 and we'll wait for this to load okay so now we have two variants esp3 arduino esp32 boards let me check more info about this so is this an official port tiny footprints maybe there are some arduino boards sporting esp32 built in so maybe that's for there but we need to use espressif let's stick with it okay let's stick with this one the com port available yes i have this com 60 so i have cp210 x usb a driver installed in my computer so if they are not uh, just look for the install cp210x drivers reels dot com and we'll wait for this port to be installed i'll pause the video and come back now we uh, are done with the installing the board let's see if we have this option and let me select the port number for my ESP32 and the ESP32 Arduino board. Okay, so what port do I need to select? 
boards it says a doit esp32 dev kit version 1 so that what i need to select let me check sp32 doit uh, the controller we are uh, the tutorial we are following so it says we need to select this one so we do that after that let me uh, serial dot begin yeah, uh, 11 okay and then I'll wait maybe I need to or not I'm not sure about that let's save this sketch and uh, Mm, uh, let's uh, say do we have LED built in we should and let's make this output and uh, here I am just going to uh, serial dot print line analog read a0 and after that I am going to um digital right led built in and i then i'll give some delay of 500 then write led built in low and then delay of 500 and keep repeating that so now i will try to upload the code by pressing ctrl u or i can click on this button it will upload the code into the board we need to wait for this code to be uploaded then we'll check if everything goes fine so this is the board onboard led which is blinking fine and let me check if i also have the serial information and it is reading the zero because i have not attached anything with the analog channel so i think we have successfully flashed over esp32 board and it is running pretty well